let's go on from that and think about how nutrients get exchanged by the fungal network with plants. So we've talked about the arbuscules, we've talked about shared protoplasm, uh, but one of the most amazing aspects of, of endomycorrhizae connection with plants is that those arbuscules only live, only function on the order of three to seven days. And there comes a point where hyphalysis takes place. That part of the network is shut off, that cell is shut off. And so the arbuscule itself dissolves into the plant protoplasm and it dissolves delivering structural cell wall proteins, polysaccharides, uh, calcium and phosphate complexes, amino acids. And all this means that the plant is getting its nutrition in more complex forms. This is also another important piece. So we have an understanding when we put on our NPK hats, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, that plants take up soluble ions through their roots. That is such a simplification of what really happens. Plants take in complex, partially built nutrition. And when they do this, they in turn have more reserve energy to go about plant metabolism and do their plant thing. Just like we have access as humans to choosing between junk foods and whole foods, I like to think of that short straw view of soluble ions um, as not the best way of going about this, but rather I want to involve the long straws of the mycelium in bringing nutrition to plants. Now, as much as I've been emphasizing the fungal piece, I also want to put in a word for the bacteria. Bacteria in the soil move about on the hyphae of fungi. This is a real hot spot to share genes as well. So bacteria can evolve to meet the situation at hand. And they do a lot of collaboration that makes nutrients possible for fungi to bring back to plants. Let me tell you about the bacterial bore. So going back to that idea of the explorer hyphae on ectomycorrhizal species, the trees, reaching 12 feet down. The fungus brings carbon sugars down and exudes it through its tip, where bacteria who traveled along the fungal hyphae have congregated. They use that energy in turn to produce organic acids that dissolve the bedrock, which the fungi can take now back to the plant from far away. And when I grow species of trees, the so-called soft hardwoods, like alder and willow and popple, somewhere in the ecosystem where I am growing my apple trees, I am bringing in the species of plants that have an affiliation with those ectofungi reaching down, but also with endofungi, which are now spreading it out throughout the plant community. That's really cool. This is really cool stuff. This is one of the Earth's mechanisms for bringing minerals back up to the surface, those top few inches of soil where all the nutrient action takes place for the most part in terms of getting it into the plant.